All right, my people. Let's ask a question using the format you see over here. Charlie, let's open with you. Ask, ask a, Laurita a question about the school in this picture. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. The school, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, Laurita, good night. Good night. Where, where is it? Um, where is it? The school. Eliminate it. Where is? Uh -huh. mm, the school. Fantastic. Where is the school? The school is here or oh, is mm, over here? Over here, but do you see a school, Laurita? The, the school is the, the wall um, with pictures. That's exactly the, the well, the, the, the wall with pictures. We don't know what is. How do you say por aquí? Alrededor de aquí. Right there, right here. Right uh, here. Here. Eliminate right. Uh -uh. When you are talking about the, the perimeter, you use <laughs> around. Around? Ah, okay. Exactly. Not right. Okay. One more the time. School, the school is around here. Yes. Okay. Around here. Do you have a complement? Around here, the, the street. What is the connector for the street? Around here to a street. No, at the street. Uh uh. Connector for a street. We use. Just a second. Around here. Ah. On? Exactly. It's on a on. street. On a street. On a specific okay. street. Eliminate. The school uh -huh. is uh -huh. around here on the street. Fantastic. Fantastic. Copy those questions and the answer yes. in the chat. Copy, copy. The next one. Um, Emmy, we are practicing this information, okay? So, Emmy, ask a question about the location of this girl. Her name is Sam. Ask a, oh no, Ale is not here. Ask Charlie about Sam. Uh, where is Sam? Easy. Charlie, where is Sam? Sam is right there. Uh -huh. mm. At the at the coffee. At the coffee, coffee, coffee is a drink. Ah uh, no, okay. Is the uh, location? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Mm. Mm, at here home um no coffee how do you say cafeteria in english 
Ay, se me fue el nombre. Este. Ajá, yes, Eliminate House. Ok, es. Coffee, no. Mm... Uy. A ver. One moment, one moment. Mm... Remember, remember, memory, memory. Ah. Ok, eh, eh, uh... Coffee. Coffee Shop. Uh -huh. no. Sí, ok, entonces. Ahí. ¿Cuál era su nombre? Sam. Karen? No, Sam. Name is Sam. Eh, Sam, in, Sam. Sam is right there eh, at here coffee shop. Here, eliminate here. Ah, ok. Eh, Sam is right there uh -huh. at coffee shop. Perfect. Now, a specific coffee shop. De, da. Yes, complete. Uh, okay, Sam is right there at the coffee shop. Very good. That is correct. Good job. Okay. Copy. Okay. The school is around here on the street. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right. Ale, there you are. Hello. Hello. Ask a question to... To Emmy About the store. The store? Yes. Uh, good night, Emmy. Uh, where is the store? Perfect. Uh, the store is right there. Right, right there, there. Where? Mm, around mm, my house. Around my house? Hmm. But I don't see your house in the picture. Oh. Hmm. Mm. What do you say? How do you say? Imagine you are the girl and you see the store, the distance to the store. What is the correct connector? The store is over here. Uh huh. Over here, and now give me a reference using a connector. Mm. Across the street. Across the street. Very good. Complete idea. The store is over here across the street. Fantastic. That is correct. Perfect. Copy. Copy, copy. Hello, Sandy. Hello. Hi. Can you participate today, Sandy? Uh, I am driving. You are driving. All right. Yes. When you arrive, let me know. Okay. Okay. So, there you have it. We finish with right here, right there, over here, over there, and around here. Different examples. Let's continue with the rest of the connectors. The rest of the connectors, let's go. There we go. So we already practiced 
in on at we practiced a uh -huh. in on at let's continue with the rest of the connectors we have the next word everybody pronunciation across Around. sorry uh, across. Across. across 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 exactly everybody across across, across. 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 When you are talking about across, you are talking about um. Let me write this. Where is the word across the photo? Aha. This is across. At the station, if you see where is the bus stop, do you understand bus stop? Yes. Yes. The bus stop is across. What's the meaning of across? Cruzando. You see? The difference between across and in front of is very important. When you say in front of, it's not necessarily across the street. Let me show you a picture. Mm, a picture of... Cross. Let me find a picture. Aha. Look at this. This is in front of. And this is across. Just a second. There. Okay. This is in front of. The taco stand is in front of the OXO. It's not across the street. Do you agree? This is the difference yes, between one and another. Across okay. versus in front of. Yes. Okay. So question. If you say, for example, um, Becca, is there anything in front of your house? Uh, no, I don't have uh, also in my front of. Uh, excuse me? One more time. <laughs> All right. Is there anything in front of your house? Is there? Do you remember? Is there? Yes. I. Uh -huh. Is there anything in front of your house? No, I don't. I don't have anything. Eliminate, eliminate uh, no, I... Um, there is. Yes, there is. One more time. Connection problems, no? Sigues con nosotros, Becca? Sí, ya. Action. 
Eh, eh, can you tell me another eh, ask the question, you? please? I have a picture. Yes, of course. Is there anything in front of your house? Este, no. Mm -hmm. No, there's anything in front of my house. Perfect. Incomplete. Verb to be there. No, no there, there no. There are no. Ay, ando perdida. Okay, repeat. There. Bear for description. Bear for location. What is the verb? Um, there. There is not the verb, eh? There is correct, uh, but it's not anything. the verb. Incorrect. The verb is the verb to be for location. How do you say is that in English? There is. Da -da -da. No, there is not. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, anything mm -hmm. in front of my house. Perfect. That's correct. Good job. Sorry. No okay. problem. Just focus. Focus, focus. Justo ayer y hoy me agarró bajando de la camioneta. Okay. Right now. Pero ya, ya, ya. Ya estoy lista para estar en la clase el 100%, tío. Yes, please. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, the next one. Um, Laurita, what is there across your house? Mm -hmm. In my house. Mm -hmm. mm. Is... In front, mm -hmm. in front of. Uh, uh, uh. No. I in... never see in front of. One more time. What yes. is there across your house? Again, please. What is there across your house? Mm. There is across of my house, mm -hmm. um, other house, other houses. Other houses, that's perfect. Okay. That is perfect. Good job. Copy everybody, eh? Your examples, Becca and Laurita. Copy your examples in the chat. Now, let's continue with the next one. Sandy, what is the next pronunciation? Mm -hmm. Across? It's number, let me number them for you. Number three. Number what? Number three. Uh, three, okay. Uh, inside? Yes, everybody from Zisha. Inside. 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 That's right. Inside. Inside is similar to say in. Okay. But we are talking about locations. So you have this very good example. Let me show it to you. Let me show it to you like this. Here you have inside versus outside. You can see the outside of an OXO and you can see an inside of an OXO. Two different locations. 
question. Tell me, Sandy, what can you, what can you buy inside an OXO? What can you buy inside an OXO? I buy a soda. Mm -hmm. Incomplete. What can you buy inside an OXO? O sea, ¿qué puedo comprar dentro de un OXO? Yes, but in English. Eh... I can. Excellent. I can buy mm -hmm. a soda mm -hmm. and, uh, and water mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. candies. Mm -hmm. Blah, 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 blah. Where? Yes. E inside. Exactly. Ox Oh, oh, OXO is countable. Ah, OXO. OXO starts with O. Uh, and OXO. Yes, complete. Uh, I can. Mm -hmm. A soda and oh, candy. Complete. Uh, I can. I can buy a soda and candies and water. An ox. Hmm. ¿Eh? I can buy repetition. No. Uh, uh. Yes. Eh, uh, sorry. I can try it. Yes, eh, I, I, understand. I, I understand. I can I can buy <laughs> a soda and candies and water inside an ox. Excellent. That is correct. Good Yay. job. Very good. Becca, please help me copy Sandy's example in the chat. Oh. Action. Okay. Very good. Very, very nice. Then we have outside. No? It's a contrary. So, Ale. What is there always outside an OXO? What is there always outside an OXO? E there outside an OXO. No, no, no. Build your sentence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... <laughs> yes, in Spanish, perfect. But in English, yeah. <laughs> that's easy constant. problem. Um, yes. Uh, outside the OXO okay. is a bank. Okay, that's possible. Now let's switch. Person, verb, complement. Organization. Ah, yes. Sorry, is the uh, person a bank? Okay. No. See, a bank is outside a OXO. A bank is outside. A, okay. OXO starts with O. O OXO? Oxo starts with O. Oxo? It's a vowel. No, no, no. Oh, when you when you have words that start with O, mm -hmm. what is the correct article? For vowels, uh, what is your O? Um, at O? No. What is similar to say one? One of and, and. Yes, and no, ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah. 
because OXO starts with O. Okay, okay. Okay, one more time. One more time. A bank is outside an OXO. Excellent, that's correct. Very good, copy. So we have inside and outside. Then we have other two very important words. Pronunciation, Charlie, number five. Next two. Excellent, everybody, pronunciation. Next two. Next, next two. two. Next two. Excellent. Next two. And give me number six, Charlie. And be beside. Yes. Beside. Everybody, pronunciation. Beside. 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 That's correct. Okay, people. Here are some examples for you. Beside. And where is next to? Okay, I think this one is good. Next to is something in a location is in the next position. So for example, in this picture of a shopping mall, you can see some stores. You can see, for example, uh, a staring shop next to the book shop. You see, it's in the next position. And beside is a synonym next to and beside are synonyms. Next to and beside are synonyms. You understand? Mm. En la parte de beside no entiendo, no entiendo teacher. Are synonyms. What is the meaning of synonym? O sea, es igual junto a, o sea, junto. No. What's the meaning of synonym? El sinónimo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Next to and besides are synonyms. Mm. Teacher. Synonyms. Uh, do the you same. use, um, se usan igual para las, para decir cerca los dos? Exactly, pero no es cerca. Ok, es inmediato. Es a... Después de, ¿no? Después de y junto a. Al lado de. ¿no? Ah, es junto a. Al lado de, me gusta esa también, ajá. Y es junto a, al lado de, eh. ¿Cuál dijiste tú, Charlie? Próximo. Junto de. Junto de, ajá. Próximo, puede ser próximo también en algunos casos. You know? No se usa una u otra. Exactly. Okay. Okay. They are synonyms. Un momento, lo estoy apuntando a mí. Yes, of course. To be there is a bank faltaron los tamales oaxaqueños tamales oaxaqueños shopping mall al lado de Staring Shop ahí están los tamales oaxaqueños no 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 el oso que dice complete ah ya yeah. ¿Pero cuál luxo? Ya no se ve luxo. ¿O sacaste screenshot? Sí, 
No, 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 no. Don, en el chat este que estoy copiando los, los ejercicios. Y dice uh, uh, fuera del Oxxo y se puso incomplete, o sea que, que lo ponga completo y también ahí. Oh, Una vez, tamales fuera del Oxxo. complete. Sí. Ah, de hecho, es más común que encuentres tamales que un banco. Exacto. You no, know, en tu caso, Ale, tu ejemplo es toda, digo, o sea, Pero es que, ¿cómo se dice cajero? Cajero de banco, porque siempre ah, ha no soy un cajero. Pero es un banco. Es que no hiciste la pregunta, fa, la pregunta mágica. Bueno, how do you say cajero? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Pero no se enojen, gente. You know, very <risa> sorry. Bad, eh? Very, very bad. ATM. This is cajero automático. No tiene sentido en español. Bueno. Sí, sí tiene sentido porque ATM es automatic. Terminal, ah, no, Automatic Teller Machine, you know? Ah, ok, ya. Yeah. And Teller is a person who gives you money in the bank. Lo corrijo. All right. Also, you forgot the verb to be. I, I wrote incomplete because you said a bank outside an OXO, but... You need the it's incomplete because you need the verb to be. You know? All right. So complete idea, Ale? Uh, is a ATM? Switch. Person verb complement. No. A is. Ah, uh -huh. person no. verb complement. Uh, ATM is. Okay. Uh -huh. Owns outside uh -huh. and also. Excellent. That is correct. Copy. Correction. Yeah. Can I buy soda, coffee, sweets? Uh, Becca, your example. Uh, what can I buy inside OXO? I can buy, not can I buy. Can I buy is a question. Yes. Okay, watch out. There is not anything in front of my house. Very good. And is there anything? That's it. Uh, Ale, ATM starts with A. A E I O U. What is the article? Um. Yes, one more time. Correction. Correction, correction. All right. So next to or beside. Emmy, is there anything beside your house? Is there anything beside your house? Uh, beside sería como al lado, ¿no? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Uh. Beside my house, um, is there a OXO? Is there is question switch? Uh, Affirmation. Beside my house, uh. You know, you said is there, no? Ah, uh, yeah. Beside switch. my house, is there a ox? Is there? Switch. Is there is a question? Switch. Is there? Ah, uh, beside my house, there is a ox. Exactly. Now, oxo starts with a, a, e, o. What is Beside the my house, there is an oxo. Perfect. That is correct. Correct, correct. Copy, brother, in the chat. What about... What about... Charlie, what is there next to 
your office. There is um, next to no. There is mm -hmm. oh. there is next to uh, the my office. Uh, <clears throat> Uy. Otra oficina. <laughs> Other okay, office. Uh -huh. Other yeah, office. Uh -huh. Other office. Yes, of course. Okay. Organization. Person verb complement. Uh, okay. There is. Uh -huh. uh, next to. Mm -mm. There is what? Uh, uh, next, okay, there is my office mm -mm. next to. What is there? Uh, First, person, verb, complement, organization. There my office. Is... Sorry. Okay. Is there is uh -huh. my office. Uh -huh. What is there? ¿Qué significa? ¿Qué significa there is? Ahí. Claro. Bueno. Entonces, ahí estás diciendo, ahí mi oficina. Ok. In my office. In my office, no, because in is interior. You know? What mm -hmm. is there next to your office? Ok. Uh, in my, okay, what is the next and next to? Okay, and, and of my office, eliminate of next to is a question. and this minutes to termine. Okay, next to uh, other office. Mm. Mm. Okay. Bueno, creo que es lo más sencillo, ¿no? It's super incomplete. Mm -hmm. Super incomplete. What is mm, what is next to what? Next to is a connector. Okay. And you need to connect two concepts. Okay, sería... Concept one is next to concept two. O sea, sería next to... Uh -uh -uh. Concept one is next to concept two. You know? Concept. So, connectors, connect. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Okay. Connectors connect to concepts. Concept one next to concept two. No, ya me perdí. No sé por qué. Me perdí. Ok. Ok. ¿Qué te estoy diciendo en este momento? De los... O sea, me preguntas... Bueno, sí. No, pues tampoco entendí. Es que necesito tu, tu mente activa en inglés. En okay. entender las palabras que, o sea, las palabras que estoy, te estoy diciendo, ya las conoces. Ajá. No te estoy hablando con palabras nuevas. You know, estamos hablando del concepto de connectors, de person verb complement, del orden de las palabras. Tu oración oh. original ah, okay. iba todo bien pero estaba todo en desorden. Me estabas diciendo... Ok, el, 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 da, Al lado, mi oficina, está ah. otra oficina. Ajá. Al lado, mi oficina, está otra oficina. Ajá. Okay. Organicemos esta oración para que empecemos con el concepto número uno. Concept number one. 
connection, concept number two. Entonces, bueno, para entender, teacher, lo que me pregunto es qué hay al lado de, de, de mi oficina, ¿no? Bueno. Sí, 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 o sea, me entendiste perfectamente, no te sí, estoy, sí, sí. No, no tienes el problema con, el, con, con la comprensión. El problema es en el orden de tus palabras. You know? Listen okay. to the questions and copy. Copy the, the components. Ok, entonces. A ver. Listen to the question first. Mm, What sería... is there? Listen mm -hmm. to the question first. Escucha primero la pregunta. Sin la pregunta no puedes, no puedes adivinarle dónde va todo. Ok. Ok. What is there next to your office? De esa pregunta, ¿qué te funciona al inicio? Next to. No, porque next to es un conector. Y es justo lo que te estaba tratando de decir con las manos. Los conectores conectan dos conceptos. No puedes usar un conector al inicio porque no tienes nada que conectar. Entonces sería... ¿Another office? Puede ser, pero te falta algo antes todavía. Eh... What is there? There is... Exactly. Ay, no sé Era una, pre una pregunta ya. con there is y there are. Sí, pregunta que no hemos sé. hecho mil veces. ¿Estás de acuerdo? Uh -huh. Pero estos conceptos... La razón por la cual no estás encontrando consenso en el, en el orden de las palabras es porque estás traduciendo, estás queriendo traducirlo todo al español, lo cual nos estaba sirviendo. Pero ahora, escucha la pregunta, vamos, haz lo mismo que haces en nivel 1. Escucha la pregunta que en el examen. Copia la información de la pregunta en tu respuesta. Ah, pues ya. No, el español solo no sé te va a servir. Gustó, pero bueno. El español solo te va a servir para comprender. Nada más. Pero al sí, momento de responder una pregunta, se trata de copiar información. Pasarla a tu respuesta. Ok. All right. Entonces, so what is there next quedaría to... de esta manera. Yes. There is next to other office. Mm -mm. There is what? Next to your office. There is office. There is. There is what office? There is my office. Ok. Ahora comprendamos en español. There is my office. ¿Qué significa? Eh, ahí. Al lado. Oficina. No, si sí está mal. ¿verdad? Nunca dijiste al lado. Dijiste. There is my office. Ajá. There is, ¿qué significa? O sea, hay. Hay. ¿Y my office? Eh, hay en mi, ofici en mi oficina. Hay mi, hay oficina. mi oficina. Ajá, eso dijiste. Mm. ¿Ya viste? Entonces no tiene sentido. How do you say? Hay otra oficina. En In inglés. Uh, there is other office. Ajá. Uh -huh. Where? There is other office uh, next to office. What office? My office. My office. Complete idea. I need to okay. okay. Uh, There is uh -huh. uh, se me olvidó. Uh -huh. No, memorization is not necessary. La memorización no te va a servir de nada. There ¿Cómo? is other office. Uh -huh. uh, next to uh -huh. my office. That's correct. ¿Por qué se nos complicó? Justo estás diciendo eso. No sé por qué se me, se me complicó. Yo te voy a decir por qué. 
cuando lo estás pensando en español, o sea, tú tienes la oración de la pregunta. El teacher me preguntó que dónde está, qué, qué hay, qué hay al lado de mi oficina. Sí. Al momento de pensar en español, no creamos una respuesta que embone con las estructuras gramaticales del inglés. Ninguna. Exacto, porque el, el inglés y el español no son, no son iguales, no son, no son este, equivalentes. Entonces tenemos que nosotros acomodar las palabras en español de tal forma que queden con las fórmulas de inglés. ¿Ok? Sí, y esos ejemplos eran muy sencillos, nada más que ahorita, pues sí, creo que entendí tu pregunta, pero la quise contestar así muy sencilla, pues al lado de mi oficina hay otra oficina. Y la sí, quise, y, sí, y la, la respuesta es simple, la respuesta es, ah, other office, órale va, ahora acomódala en una oración completa. Sí, porque yo le había dicho así nada más other office, pero sí. Claro. Sí, así. Uh -huh. Ya sé que me entendiste y ya sé que tienes la respuesta. Ahora acomódala en una oración completa. ¿Cómo se hace la oración completa? Copy Usando page. la habilidad. ¿Cómo? Bueno, copy paste de la pregunta copy que me hiciste. Copy paste. Exacto. Si te fijas en la pregunta, te dije literalmente la frase eh, next to your office. Next to your office. Next to your office, es correcto. Y ahorita que me respondiste, la buena, tú dijiste, next to my office. Exactamente. Ya Entonces, la... El orden fue literalmente el mismo. Ay, sí, Dios mío. ¿Ya viste? No tenías que copiarlo nada, no tenías que empezar con my office, no tenías que empezar con next to, sino no, no. usar there is en orden, Cambia usar yo tu conector con sus my... dos conceptos, y si quieres copiar la última parte, copia la última parte. Sí, Ahí me dormí. Uh -huh. Ok. Thanks. Ya lo puse en el chat. Yes, there is other office next to my office. Eh, spelling. Office escribe con doble F y my se escribe con Y. Y eso lo dice. Uh -huh. Pero este punto de análisis ya no se necesita el español, ¿eh? O sea, ya, aquí ya me expandí muchísimo en español para hablar de cosas que ya, ya teníamos entendidas. Es focus, 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 focus. All right. Ok. Perfect. So, in this case, let's pass, let's give a moment to Jessica Asmore because she's in the chat. Hello, yes. Hello, everyone. Good night. I will take attendance, please. Is it Carlos? Hello, Carlos. Good night. Hello, yes. Good night. Thank you, Carlos. Andy, hello, Sandy. Good night. Hello, yes. Good night. Thank you, Sandy. Good night. Becca, hello, Becca. Good night. Hello, yes. Good night. Thank you, Becca. Good night. Lau, hello, Lau. Good night. Hello, yes. Good night. Thank you, Lau. Good night. Ale, hello, Ale. Good night. Hello, yes. Good night. Thank you, Ale. Good night. Ah, Nemi. Hello, Emi. Good night. Hello, yes. Thank you, me. So, thank you, everyone. Have a good night and see you tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. See you. See you tomorrow. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Perfect. All right. So there is other office next to my office. Charlie, don't forget the question. Copy the question too. So you can understand the. Okay. Then we have behind, from, away from, near, above, under, below. We are going to study the rest in the next lesson. So, I have news. I have news for you. May I speak Spanish? Yes. Mars? Okay. So, vamos a para la 